Hey, but them ninja sweats though. Let me cop though. What's going on, everybody of YouTube? This is Kennedy Daily, and today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make two tone drop crotch sweats. And if you guys are wondering what it looks like, here you go. Oops, I almost dropped this. So here you go. This is from the side view. As you can see, it's like a two, it's one color up top, one color on the bottom, baggy up top, skinny on the bottom, and then. The cool thing about these types of sweats is, wait, let me make, let me properly, let me probably pull this for you. It doesn't just go straight across; it actually goes at a diagonal angle. So that look, it looks pretty dope when you wear it. But if you guys are wondering what it looks like on a person, kind of skip to the end of the video, and you guys can see me rocking three different pairs that I made for this video. But anyways, guys, without further ado, let's get straight into the tutorial. Here's an overview of all the things that you're gonna need this tutorial. It's actually very simple. Starting with the tools, you're gonna need a pair of scissors. You're gonna need some pins. You're gonna need your good old pen. Make sure you can use it on fabric. And then you're gonna need a straight edge ruler. For the materials, you're gonna need two different colored sweats. You can get both of these at Target for about 18 bucks. And then you're gonna need a pair of pants that has a slim or skinny leg feature to the leg part of the pants and then that's all the thing you're gonna need for this tutorial to start off the tutorial we're gonna be cutting the top and bottom pieces of the new two-tone drop crotch sweats and the way we do that is we grab the top part sweat that we want to use and you want to turn it inside out and then you want to make sure everything is nice and flat make sure there's no folds or anything like that and then you want to grab your ruler and you want to cut a straight line not a diagonal i don't know why i stopped it right here but you want to cut a straight line from the bottom of the crotch area it has to be here it can't be anywhere else if it's anywhere else it's just going to make things a lot more difficult so grab your pen grab your straight edge ruler and just draw a straight line across make sure it's straight and not all jagged and nasty looking after you made both lines you want to take your scissors and cut along those lines next we're going to be cutting out the bottom part of the sweats so grab your second pair of sweats turn it inside out lay it flat on the floor like you did with the first pair of sweats now you want to make sure it's nice and stretched because if it's folded anywhere along these sweats it's going to make a really nasty cut but after you got the sweats on the floor nice and flat grab your top piece of your new pair of sweats lay it over the second pair of sweats and then you want to line the crotch area there you go line the crotch area and then you want to cut out the leg pieces and you should end up with something like this next we're going to prep the bottom part of the sweats to be sewn onto the top part and we start by cutting a small slit along the seam of the sweats so grab your pair of scissors and just cut a small slit about three inches is fine you don't it's not there's no direct measurement that you need to have so just cut a small slit and then after that you want to turn it right side up make sure it's right side up and the top part is inside out just gonna remind you guys and you want to find the slit and you want to make sure that the slit area is matched up with the crotch area so that's how you're going to be inserting it so that's the reference points that you can use and you want to insert the bottom part into the top part and then you want to grab some pins and you just want to start pinning the bottom part to the top part of the sweats just take your time on this because you want to make it as clean as possible now if you end up with a hole when you once you reach the other side of the sweats that's fine because we're going to be getting rid of that later but next you want to take these sweats to the sewing machine and do your zigzag stitch along the pinned area now if you don't have a zigzag stitch you can just do two straight stitches but it's not going to be as consistent as zigzag stitch or strong but once you approach the end you're going to notice the hole that i was talking about earlier but don't worry about that just just leave it be and just do your back stitch as always just to secure the two pieces after you finish the first leg go ahead and zigzag stitch the other leg so stitch the two pieces together with a zigzag stitch or two straight stitches once you approach the end, remember to end with a back stitch. Since we're gonna be slimming the pants, these holes are gonna be disappearing anyways, so don't worry about it too much, even how big it is. Just don't worry about it, it's not a problem. 
Next, we're gonna be slimming the bottom part of the sweats and getting rid of those holes that I was showing you guys earlier. And the way that we do that is you wanna go grab the slim pants or skinny pants and you want to cut the outline of it. Now I'm using a slim pair of pants that you can just cut the outline directly and notice how I approach the middle there. You wanna cut above the holes that we had earlier. But if you're using skinny jeans or skinny pants to start with, you have to leave that one inch allowance because you want, it's gonna be smaller than you think. Once you make that cut, you want to sew along the cut area with a zigzag stitch. So take your sweats to the sewing machine, do a zigzag stitch or a straight or two straight stitches if you don't have a zigzag stitch on your machine. Go all the way around, including the crotch area. And then once you reach the other side, you want to just end with a back stitch. If you guys want a nice consistent hold on the bottom part of your sweat, you might need to just re-stitch that area a couple of times to keep it in place. Here's what it looks like on a person once you're done with all the sewing and whatnot. It looks pretty dope and is very comfortable. But anyways guys, that's the tutorial. I hope you guys found it somewhat helpful. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. It does help out my channel to give it a like. And you can subscribe for some more content if you want. But let me also know in the comment section below which, you, which pair that has the best colorway. Because personally, I love the, black, the gray and black one simply because it's very neutral. Uh, this one probably came in second. The first one probably came in third. But anyways, guys, I hope to see you guys soon. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.